Hostinger has to be one of the best hosting providers for beginners, yet it keeps getting easier. But that doesn't mean that beginners don't need help. While I learned all about hosting the hard way, you don't have to. This time I'm here with a tutorial on how to install WordPress and Hostinger. First things first, to follow this guide, you'll need to have a Hostinger subscription. To get it at the best price, scan this QR code or click on the link in the description. It will not only save you money, but will also help this channel make more tutorial content like this. If you're already a Hostinger user, you can either follow the onboarding process or use the auto installer method, which you can find by using the timestamps. Now, let's quickly walk through purchasing a plan and setting up WordPress. After picking your desired plan and completing the checkout process, Hostinger will guide you to set up WordPress. If you already have an account, just click the setup button in the websites tab and you'll be brought to the onboarding process. During setup, Hostinger pre-fills most of the necessary info for your WordPress account, leaving you to come up with a strong password. If you're stuck, Hostinger has a handy password generator to help you out. A quick tip, you can access your website's admin panel directly from the Hostinger dashboard, so you won't have to remember that password all the time. Though, I still recommend saving it in a good password manager. If you need one, check out our channel. We've got plenty of reviews on password managers. Anyhow, back to the onboarding. After creating your password, you can select your website type. While this step isn't crucial, it helps Hostinger optimize your experience. For example, selecting online shop will provide templates and themes geared towards e-commerce. You can switch the website type anytime, allowing you to explore all templates. During plugin installation, Hostinger suggests a few options based on your setup. I recommend keeping Google Site Kit, which gives you analytics directly in your WordPress dashboard. You can also search the entire WordPress repository for any plugins, like Yoast SEO for easy search engine optimization or WordFence for extra security. While Hostinger makes it easy to add plugins, stick to what's essential to avoid slowing down your site. Hostinger will even warn you if selected plugins could conflict with each other. Finally, Hostinger allows you to register a domain during this process or connect one you already own. This completes your Hostinger WordPress setup, so you're ready to start building your site. While that was the easiest method, I'll show you all the possible methods. So next up, auto install it. To install WordPress or another content management system, simply navigate to your Hostinger dashboard, click on websites, from the menu on the left and select auto installer. Since it's a WordPress tutorial, this time we'll go with that. First, you'll have to title your website, then type in your password. Email and username will already be filled in. If you click on advanced, you'll be able to select a different installation path or choose a different database. But just like Hostinger, I recommend having a new database for your new website. So we just click next. In the following window, you'll have to select the WordPress application version. Hostinger will have the latest stable version selected automatically. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't change it. There's also language selection as well as PHP version and update options. Leaving the update to minor version option is recommended as it will not automatically install huge updates, but it'll still install the smaller ones that normally iron out bugs or issues. So we just press install and we're done. Now, if both of these ways of how to install WordPress fail or you want something more, there's always a good old manual way. <laughs> this method requires some time and patience, but it's doable if you're comfortable with a few extra steps. First, you'll need to upload the WordPress files to your FTP server using the built-in file manager or a tool like FileZilla, which I'm using for this. First, find your FTP information by opening websites, then manage and searching for FTP accounts on the sidebar. Then just open FileZilla and fill in the Quick Connect section with the FTP details you just found and click on Quick Connect. Next, we need to create a database and username through your hosting control panel, making sure to save the database name, username, and password. Then you'll edit the wp-config.php file, adding the database and hosting info to connect everything. Once that's done, just visit your site's URL and go through the famous five-minute WordPress installation. If you'd like a more detailed tutorial on this, just leave a comment. I've covered all the methods of how to install WordPress on Hostinger, but sometimes not everything goes as planned. So let's quickly cover the common problems that you might face. If you're facing a 404 not found error, it could be due to broken permalinks. In that case, just refresh them by going to WordPress settings and then choosing permalinks. 
Take note of the current permalink structure for future reference. Next, choose any option that differs from the current one. For example, if the current structure is set to plain, switch to numeric and click Save Changes to apply the update. Afterward, immediately switch back to the original permalink structure and save the changes again. This action will regenerate the site's permalinks. To confirm the update, refresh the website by pressing Ctrl F5 or open it in incognito mode. Now, database connection errors usually mean your database info in the wp-config file is incorrect, so double check those details. Lastly, if the installation is stuck during setup, clear your browser cache and reload the page. These problems are fairly easy to fix, but if you need more guidance, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I'll try to help as many of you as I can. That wraps up this Hostinger WordPress tutorial. Installing WordPress on Hostinger is a breeze, especially with me guiding you through it. So if you're ready to jump in, make sure to take advantage of those sweet discounts in the description. Thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you in the next one.